What's up, babes? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Christiana, and I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be all about jeans. So, as a curvy woman, I know about the struggle of finding jeans. Finding jeans that fit right in the waist, that aren't too tight, that are comfortable, that have enough stretch, don't give you these huge puffy cankles. Like, it is really a struggle, and most curvy women, like myself, avoid wearing jeans altogether because it's just such a struggle. But... I today am bringing you a list of my favorite places to buy jeans from, pros and cons, how to shop for them, and also I'm going to be giving you guys a try on at the end of this video of my current favorite jeans. So if you're a curvy woman and you're struggling with jeans and you really just want some help or maybe some suggestions, you are in the right place. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so first place I'm going to be talking about is fashion to figure. Um, these are a new pair of jeans, like a new company that I've dabbled in. I never ordered from Fashion to Figure before this order, so I do have one pair of their jeans right now. Um, pros and cons about Fashion to Figure. Pros, they are catered toward, excuse me, it would not be a video of mine if I didn't burp. Um, so pros, they are a brand that is catered to specifically plus size women. So that means that you don't get that disappointment of going onto their website, finding a pair of jeans that you really, really like, only to find out that they do not carry those particular jeans in curvy or plus size or whatever. Another pro, these jeans have an elastic band in them in the waist. I'm gonna flip this over and show you guys. There's an elastic band here that is meant to kind of keep the waist of the jeans flat against your body. That is my number one problem with every jeans, even some of the jeans I'm gonna show you in this video, I am just unproportionate, and so it is hard for me to find jeans that don't have gapping in them. Even if they are made, you know, for more hourglass figure, it's still just, I'm so far on the opposite end of the spectrum that if they were to make jeans that were small enough up top in the waist for me, it wouldn't fit the women it's really designed to fit. So um, I do appreciate the elastic band here because it is the only pair of jeans I own at this point that um, go flat against my waist. They sit nicely in the curve of my back. Um, they are really, they're a really cute wash. Um, so love that. So pros definitely are gonna fit my my small waisted, my hourglass, and my pear shaped ladies. These jeans are gonna give you no gapping. Um, they have amazing stretch to them, so another pro, um, and they are not like fluffy at the ankle. They come tightly around the ankle. I don't know why these companies think we have these huge cankles, but we don't, um, so I like that these fit like a regular jean <laughs> at the ankle. Um, cons, they do not have a wide selection. Um, it's a few washes, a few styles. Um, another con is I am not a fan of this double button thing. It feels a little dated to me. Um, but I understand that it's there because the elastic band and I know it's the the schematics of the, the jeans it's just was necessary I'm sure but the double button thing to me is just a little bit dated um, but other than that like there's not really a whole lot of cons they fit great um, there's just not a wide selection and there's not a whole lot of um, trendy jeans on fashion to figure this is geared more towards um, my ladies who are in their late 20s um, 30s a little bit more of a mature jean not going to be a whole lot of distressing not a whole lot of rips and stuff like that so they're not um super trendy as far as what's currently um popular but they are a good staple pair of jeans this is something you could definitely dress up with like a bodysuit like i have one and a blazer and a cute pair of heels and it's going to give you a mature sophisticated um kind of casual look so that's kind of what fashion to figure is they're not like the fast fashion brands they're not like fashion nova they're not like pretty little thing um they are a little bit more refined in the pieces that they offer. So that is fashion to figure. Um, like I said, first pair of jeans from them, I'll definitely be ordering some more. I really like the way these fit. I'll turn around again to give you guys a 360. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. If you are a pear shaped hourglass woman, if you have a body build similar to mine, check them out. All right, so this would not be a jean video if I did not mention Fashion Nova, of course. Um, pros to Fashion Nova, huge selection of jeans, huge selection of jeans for curvy women. Um, 
super trendy you're gonna find a style no matter what you like if you like heavily distressed mildly distressed just distress the knees crops flare they've got every style of jean so huge pro the selection is insane um cons <laughs> con is one they do not offer every style that they have in total for plus size women so you may be scrolling see a particular pair of jeans that you like go to it and find out it only goes up to size like i don't know 11 13 something like that but they do not extend into the 1x 2x 3x um range also con they do stop at 3x um if i'm not mistaken fashion and figure stops at 5x so um that's kind of a thing if you're not you're only in a certain kind of a niche of plus size. If you're on the, the upper end of the plus size spectrum, um, you probably are going to have a, a problem finding jeans on Fashion Nova. Not to mention their sizing is inconsistent. Next con, the sizing is super inconsistent. When it comes to Fashion Nova, I look for two things. I look for the description box and I look to see what percentage of the fabric has spandex in it. Sometimes it'll say spandex straight up. Sometimes it'll say lyrica. I think that's how you say it. Lycra, something like that. Um, depending on what percentage the spandex is will determine if I want to buy those jeans or not because I need jeans that have a heavy stretch to them in case the sizing is weird. So I do not buy jeans from Fashion Nova personally that have less than 2% spandex. Um, also, they usually will put in the description box if the sizing runs different for plus size and you will often size, it often say like plus size runs one size smaller and so that way you know the size up. So always, always, always check the details before you buy jeans from Fashion Nova. Um, but back on the con side, um, I love that they think about the hourglassed woman when they make their jeans, they fit nicely um, up around my waist. So I do like that. They always do usually have phenomenal stretch to them. So. Um, and it's just the selection is insane like and of course the price point like you can't you can't beat how cheap fashion over jeans are they always have a 30 percent off code if y'all not know that never ever 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 pay anything or take a coupon call coupon code that is less than 30 percent from fashion nova if you google you have on retail me not look at fashion nova coupon codes there is always a 30 percent one out there somewhere even if there's not a holiday or something so with the 30 percent off you can't beat, you know, the pricing for their jeans. So um, this is one pair of jeans. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Um, turn around. One issue I do have with Fashion Nova jeans is they don't like to come up all the way over my butt. As you can see, the dip of my back is here, and it's just a little bit of extra space. So I find myself kind of pulling up my jeans often throughout the day when I wear Fashion Nova jeans. But to me, it's not a big thing. It's just kind of thing that I've grown accustomed to once again because of my build so you'll find that a lot of the jeans my cons may not be your cons because I am built differently we're all built differently um, but it's a thing to consider if you are looking at me for a reference um, I'm going to show you guys another pair of jeans from Fashion Nova as well so these are the other pair of Fashion Nova jeans that I have to show you guys I cannot remember the names of any of these jeans off the top of my head because they're jeans that I've accumulated over time over months maybe even over years but I do remember the name of these jeans because these are the jeans I call my viral jeans. I call these my viral jeans because every time I post a picture of these jeans, literally my picture blows up. Um, and I, these are called the always leaving jeans. I will tell you these jeans are always sold out. I would go on there, if you like these jeans and you want them, I would go ahead and go on Fashion Nova. If they have your size in stock, go ahead and buy them. But if they don't, go ahead and set a reminder because these jeans are always sold out. But they are amazing. They have crazy stretch. So I don't know if I mentioned, but most of my jeans I get in a 18 or a 2X. Um, these ones are a 1X, in which a 1X is my actual size. But on Fashion Nova, I always size up just because I'm so afraid of them running small, even if they don't list it. And these ones are a 1X and they fit like a glove, if y'all cannot tell. So, and they fit really nicely around the ankle. They're not puffy. They're actually very, very snug to the ankle. So love that. Um, they are high-waisted. You see, they can come up pretty high or you can sit them lower. Um, turn around so you guys can see the back. Nothing special in the back, but they do fit nicely into the small of my back and yeah i just really really love these jeans um fashion nova like i said they can be hit or miss so you know shop there with caution but all in all you 
tend to have a really good selection of jeans for curvy women there. I would say the best thing about Fashion Nova is just their selection in general and the options that are finally out there for curvy women. So um, once again, I'll be leaving these jeans down below. Um, like I said, I don't remember the names of these jeans, so I'm just going to leave them um, in order in the description box so you can think like, okay, first jeans she showed, second jeans she showed, and you can go look at them because I did not look up the names or make a list or anything. I've had, like, I've had these jeans for about a year and a half, two years, which is another thing. They have held up very well. Um, there's not, like, any rubbing or anything on the inner thigh, like, any um, fraying for my thighs rubbing. These jeans have held up very well. I would say if you add one pair of jeans to your collection, definitely add these. All right, last but certainly not least, the last company I'm going to talk about is American Eagle. I do not know if I'm the only one who was asleep on American Eagle jeans, but yo, they are amazing. I swear to you, I have ordered five pair of American Eagle jeans in the last three months. Like, and their jeans aren't cheap. Let me be clear on that. They're, I mean, they're cheap, but they're like $30, $40 range. You can catch them on a sale. Um, if you don't catch them on a sale, which are crazy because they always have sales going on, um, they're like 50, 60 bucks, but you can usually catch them on a sale. Um, so they usually fall somewhere around 30 to 40 bucks, but the quality is amazing. So pros, super stretch. When I say super stretch, super stretch, dude, like super stretch. And for my apple shaped ladies, this is going to be your best friend. I myself will have to get these jeans taken in because there is gapping, like a lot of gapping for me. So I'll be having to get these jeans taken in, but they are worth it. They are so soft. The stretch is amazing. They have a million styles to choose from. They have them in ranges from curvy to petite, you know, like, but of course we're talking about curvy women today. They go up to, I believe, size 24? 20s i don't know don't quote me on that but they do have, do go up to sizes in the 20s um these are i think they're like no they, they have some like 24 or 28 because these are 18. um i could have went down and being that i am losing a little bit of weight um i will probably be going down but i'm going to get these altered before i have to actually replace jeans because they are so worth it like they are worth the investment i will tell you all that so um also pros is none of that cankle gapping at the bottom um i can't like i'm literally gushing about these jeans they are amazing i will say some other popular styles do tend to stay sold out a lot they're just that good y'all like so you're really going to have to um you're really gonna have to stay on top of what jeans you want and when they come in stock um so i'm gonna show you five pair of american eagle jeans um these are the first pair because these are just my favorites i love the super distressed look that's another thing we don't ever seem to get super distressed jeans as curvy women it's like they think oh our fat is going to spill out of them which it might but so what like we still like the stretch jeans too so um this is one of my favorite pair just because of the wash and the distress i love dressing these up with like something like this dressing them down with like a graphic tee and some sneakers they are super super versatile i'll give you another 360 on these ones like I said, I'll be taking these in, but if you're not as um, disproportionate or disproportional as I am, then you shouldn't have a problem. They should fit you perfectly fine. Here is another pair. These are a lighter wash one. I'm still super distressed, which you can see your girl loves me a distressed jean. Um, they're distressed on one ankle and not the other, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, they also have like some distressing in the back. So, thought that was cool. If my heels are ashy, you don't judge me. Um, these don't have as bad of the gapping in the back, but I still will get these taken in just so they fit like 100%. One thing I've learned from watching other YouTubers is like if you ever see a girl and she just has on a great fitting pair of jeans, like, and you're like, dude, like if they tailor those jeans to her, she probably did get them altered. If you want like a super just high class, really polished look for your jeans, getting them altered is going to be really really important so i am actually going to be taking all five of these american eagle jeans to get altered because these are like now my new staple jeans but um as far as this pair um same great stretch they're just great they're just amazing i can't i can't gush about these jeans enough I was a little distressing back here it was kind of cute too 
So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys another pair of American Eagle jeans. All right, here's another pair and this um, nice medium wash. Uh, once again, super distressed along the knee area. I got two issues with these pair of jeans, even though they're amazing. Like I'm being nitpicky at this point, but um, the way this this slit right here is, <laughs> every time I pull these jeans up, this part stretches and rips just a little bit more towards my kuka. So I'd be having to remember like to not pull them up like this because it's stretching this and making it rip and to grab it here and pull them up. So um, that's my only beef because I keep ripping these inward. Um, another issue I have is these kind of do this strange flare thing at the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that, but they do this, do this strange flare. So what I like to do with these jeans is like just give them a little cuff. And then that kind of gets rid of um, the jean looking awkward with that little kind of weird flare there. But they do have um, a distressing in the back. So it's kind of hard for them to stay cuffed. So if you do want to wear them cuffed, I would iron the cuff into it so it stays. Um, gapping isn't too bad on these jeans either, just a little bit. Um, but like I said, still be getting it taken in. Um, but these, same, same great things, same good stretch, same good quality. Um, different wash so I like that they're the stretch I like that the stretch and the quality is consistent against across all styles no matter the wash no matter the cut there it's consistent and that is something that you really don't find in a lot of fast fashion brands the inconsistent sizing usually comes from the different material they're using to create the different effect with the jeans with American Eagle it's consistent you are the same size no matter what pair of jeans you wear I had got all these jeans in a size 18 and they all fit perfectly this is a another pair of really nice dark wash jeans um, this one has a little bit less distressing so if you're not into the super heavy distress jeans this is a really good jean it is sold crop like I'm wearing it now I didn't like crop it on my own it is sold that way um, once again same gray stretch these jeans are a little bit on the stiffer end of the spectrum compared to how stretchy the other ones are they don't have as much give um, but they do still fit perfectly fine they are still within excuse me they are still within the same sizing range like they're not stiff to the point where I wish I would have sized up or anything like that they're the same same size like their sizing is consistent and I know I keep saying that but it is so frustrating when you order from a website and you're one size like literally I have three pairs of jeans from Fashion Nova they're the same jean and three different colors and all three fit differently insane so anyway uh, I do appreciate how consistent their sizing is across all styles um so I'll turn around you guys to the back of these ones um very plain back this is definitely a little bit more of a mature jean um once again still having gapping but because these are a stiffer pair of jeans the gapping is not as bad and yeah these are another pair of super cute jeans from American Eagle Last pair of American Eagle jeans I'm going to mention are these um, black ones. These are their super high-waisted ones and like I've got them kind of scrunched down a little bit because if I pull them all the way up like they're going to come up to my boobs and I'm not exaggerating like they are high. So if you have a long torso um, these will be great for you because you can actually get that high-waisted effect instead of everything looking mid-rise on you. Um, so love that and these will also sit like I want them to sit once I get them altered. So I'll show you the back. Um, once again size 18 and um, these are good like I wanted a pair of plain black jeans like that I could really style however I needed to that would just be really transitional um, so love these once again same great stretch um, same great comfort fit is very nice um, they do do a little bit of the flaring at the bottom that I had spoke about I don't know if y'all can see that so I would probably be cuffing these ones I don't know I might see if the if the seamstress can take in ankles can they take in ankles I don't know how they take in the ankles but um they are super cute cropped so um love these so this is the last pair of jeans I wanted to show you guys um this one like I said this is a try on of my favorite jeans currently I have a zillion pair of jeans that I could recommend um but these are the ones that I find myself being most comfortable in being the most trendy and also holding up the best as far as multiple washes multiple wears you know being resistant against chub rub 
that I just really wanted to recommend you guys some really quality pair of jeans because I know we also throw money away buying jeans thinking they will fit, thinking they will flatter us only to get them and be disappointed. So I showed so many pair of American Eagle jeans because I really do stand their jeans. They are the perfect curvy woman jean in my opinion. All right, y'all. So that is all I have for y'all today. I hope this helps. I hope this encouraged women who maybe shy away from jeans and are always in leggings and stuff to go out there and try some jeans. There is a jean out there for you. I know it's a struggle, but I really hope that this helped you guys find one that you might want to try. If it did, leave down below what jeans you think you'll be trying out. And all the links will be down below in the, in the description box for y'all to check them out. I will also leave, um, if I have any affiliate links, I'll leave those. Um, if I can find any coupon codes that are active at the moment, I will also leave those to help you guys save some coin. So help a sister out and give me a subscribe and I'll catch y'all the next one.